This is Kim Meyer, host of Choose to Rise. Thanks for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. Hey, it's Baxter Colburn here from Public House Media. Did you know that we just added a store here at Public House Media? No, I'm not talking about a grocery store where you can go buy apples or bananas or peanut butter, which are all fantastic, especially when peanut butter's on all of those. Anyway, we've added a store here at Public House Media so you can not only come and represent your favorite podcast network, but also represent your favorite shows as well, too. Just go over to phmedia.com. And look in the top right corner where you'll see the, the button that says store. Click on that and you can search through all of our great products. Or if you go to our Facebook page, Public House Media, you can see on the left-hand side a tab that says store. All of our products are listed there as well, too. It's the new Public House Media store. You don't want to miss it. It is fantastic. Buy some of that great swag to support your favorite shows and to support Public House Media. Check it out today. Hey, this is Jerry Strauss, host of Hollywood Happy Plays here on Public House Media. Thank you for listening to the following broadcast on Public House Media. And once you're done with this episode, I hope you'll come check out my show, Hollywood Happy Place, where we talk with and about all of your favorite names from the worlds of TV, movies, music, whatever entertains you. We are getting up close and personal with those people right here on HHP. A new show comes out every two weeks. So don't forget to subscribe on iTunes so you never miss an episode of Hollywood Happy Place. Thank you again for checking out the following broadcast on Public House Media. Hello everyone, it is hashtag no filter Friday and Samantha is here again because she can't not be on public house media. I sound like a crazy person because I was in Mexico last week and um, I got the can't and cough. So <clears throat> there's not going to be any tea spilling this week because I'm drinking all of the tea that would normally be spilled. I'm reserving it for myself. And I look like a a crazy sick person, but on the upside, I'm super tan. So there's that. Anyway, Samantha, do you care to interject again? We're going to talk about Terry Crews. So excuse my voice because it just sounds terrible. Just terrible. Hello, person coming in. If you're coming in, can you leave me a comment so I know who it is? It doesn't always pop up, and that's no fun, because I would like to say hello to you individually. <clears throat> and <sighs> it kind of works out for the podcast people that are coming in from iHeartRadio or iTunes or Google Play, because they don't have to look at me and my sickness. They just have to listen to me and my sickness. Which is better for them. I'm using a Chipotle cup to drink out of because that's the life that I'm living right now. This week has been kind of quiet around Hollywood because there's no award shows or any of that stuff. <clears throat> it's Easter weekend. Not only is it hashtag no filter Friday, it's good Friday and it's the first night of Passover. So between all that, you can imagine how quiet Hollywood is. There's not much going on. There's just not. But that's fine. You know what? Everybody's out here partying all the time. A weekend of sit down and shut up is not so bad. So last week we got cut off. Or the... We. I kept talking, but apparently the broadcast cut <clears throat> at a certain point. And I didn't get to talk to you. Talk to myself. But I didn't get to talk to you about Terry Crews, which is unique because we've only so far talked about ladies in the hashtag Me Too movement on this show. We haven't talked about um, any guys, really. I think we might have touched on Corey Feldman a little teeny tiny bit, just like his little stabbing incident uh, this week. Just a little, just a little, little nudge. Nothing too serious. But apparently, <coughs> <coughs> 
apparently Mr. Terry Crews is um, still out fighting the good fight and being supportive of the hashtag Me Too movement because he's kind of caught up in it um, himself as a victim. And in my opinion, it's very important to talk about the male aspect of being, you know, sexually victimized because one in six boys is molested at some point in their lives. And that's a pretty large percentage of the population and it needs to be addressed. <clears throat> Most of the time they never do. They don't get the kind of um, attention or help that girls that are lucky enough to get attention and help for their situation do. So it is very important to talk about the other side. Not, I don't want to say that it's the other side of things, but the, the male component. <coughs> and what's really extra interesting about, um, about Terry Crews' story is that it's one that I've heard before. I had a friend tell me that he had the same thing happen to him, except it wasn't at a party. It was at, um, it was at an office. It was in an office at one of the studios in town. So apparently, a few years ago, Terry Crews, Mr. Old Spice, Mr. Blending, Mr. Uh, you know, he's just he's just a doll. Terry Crews is just a doll. Um, I met him at the uh, GQ Man of the Year party a few years ago, and it was like man prom, and he was just lovely and wonderful and amazing. Um, so I think his story kind of broke around Sundance cause he was, um, he was going around with a movie. He had a movie, um, that he was starring in and he was doing the press for hello, new person that joined. Can you leave me a comment? So I know who you are and we can chat. Um, so Samantha, there is no growling. Um, <laughs> do you see what I put up with? <laughs> Yes, Mrs. T money from back in the day. Um, I wonder. Hang on a second. Uh, we'll let them. We'll let them bark for a while. Whatever. Anyway, so at a party. Story is he was at a party, and an agent from William Morris Endeavor. Or I guess now just William Morris, um, named Adam Bennett, groped him at a party. And then apparently sometime later, he told um, the higher-ups at William Morris what happened. The agent was put on leave and Terry Crews dropped them as his agent, which is a really big deal. Like, especially if you were out of top 10, let alone a top five. Um, you can't just go switching agents. Like, that's not that's not how things work. Um, oh, Hang on, my Postmates is here. I'm going to decline this and you're going to come with me to get my Postmates. Because that's the life that we're living. That's the life that we're living. That's why the dogs are barking. They're not a bunch of crazies, turns out. Most of the time they bark at everything. They don't get any attention from me because I'm like, ah. Of course you're barking. Hello? Oh, hang on. Let me answer this real, real fast. A Postmates is a food delivery service. Okay, sorry. Rudely interrupted by Postmates because the place that I ordered from does not have the beverage that I requested. Oh, issues. Issues in my life. Anyway, back to our good friend Terry Cruz. So, <clears throat> a.k.a. Team Money. So, changing agencies is a very big deal, <coughs> especially when you're in a big one. Arguably one of the biggest. Definitely, you know, William Morris, CAA, ICM are about the top three. It doesn't really get much bigger than that. If you have seen Entourage, you will know that um, I normally watch the other two on Thursdays. Oh, um, that's nice. I love to, I love Tuesdays. Tuesdays are great. Um, it was called William Morris Endeavor because at one point 
Endeavor and William Morris, Endeavor, the management firm, and William Morris, the agency, joined to make W. Okay, so this is what they used to do. <laughs> that, that was the W. It's like, ooh, W for De William Morris. And then that was the E for Endeavor. So we put it together, William Morris Endeavor. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, it's a very big deal. <coughs> Just dropping your agent is not uh, not something that is smiled upon around here and the fact that they the fact that William Morris did anything about this agent doing that is kind of crazy to me and I highly doubt it was the first time the guy did it because if you have the cojones to go up to Terry Crews who is a giant and squeeze on his cojones um I feel like you have been emboldened at some other point in your life. <laughs> I don't know. Is there such a thing as male on male privilege? I don't know. But apparently they put the guy on leave and he has since moved agencies, which is good. Love new beginnings. New agents are great. They're hungrier. They're happier. They're ready to work. They're not just taking a bunch of hoes out on their expense account. And cashing your checks, um, which is what happens at big agencies because they have really uh, nice, healthy expense accounts that they take up one side of Beverly Hills and down the other. But with that being said, um, he's been the only guy that's been like, yeah, I had a situation happen. And I know he's not the only one because... Well, now they're doing things about it. Now things are happening. It just depends on who you are, I think. Like, and really, too, like, Terry's a huge dude. He's the old Spice Man, for Christ's sake. You know, like, I feel yeah. like if you're on the, um, like, he's just a gigantic man. So I'm sure he can, um, he can make noise and be like, okay, so you can do something about this dude, or I will. Yeah, but not before, though. No, not before. But what I think is interesting, though, oh, there's a thing that came, now that we're talking about it this way. A couple shows ago, I read a statement. I think it was from Rose McGowan, but it could have been from somebody else because I'm a little fuzzy right now. Um, it was about how, oh, Lauren's here. Hi, Lauren. It's about how... CAA and like the time's up now situation <coughs> was all just a ploy and it's like CAA was doing it CAA was funding it you know CAA blah 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 <clears throat> so a couple shows ago go back and watch the statement if you don't know what I'm talking about but apparently CAA purchased a major intellectual property either this week or last week I forget but it's, it, it's, it essentially proves that point 110%. But having, um, having a guy in the running for, for hashtag me too is very important. It's very, very important. And like I said, I've heard this story before. I have a friend who is <clears throat> also a large dude. Um, Lauren, girl, I'm late too. Does this, no, does this not look late to you? This is late. Okay, I'm drinking out of a Chipotle cup. We're, we're late at this point. Everybody's late to this party. Anyhow. Um, <clears throat> what was I saying about Terry? Now I have lost my train of thought. Goodness. Oh, yes, my friend. So, I have a friend that had the exact same thing situation to happen to him outside of an office at one of the major studios. Um, and there's like, there's like in the hallway of the office and there was people on the inside and they were kind of just passing by each other. And apparently the guy like, which is like, it means actually late. It's, it means what you think it means. Um, <laughs> means what everything's late. That's late. I'm late to wash my hair, even though it's, it is clean. It's just kind of not doing I was late and I didn't make my regular beverage. I mean, it's just, 
it's behind. All of this is behind, up one side and down the other. But anyway, so my friend had the same groping incident um, happen with him at one of the studio lots outside of an office. And the guy, like, pushed him up a wall and, like, grabbed his junk and, like, I think he tried to kiss him or something. I don't know. It was... It was very, very close to the Terry Crew situation. Just it wasn't at a party. And it was in broad daylight in front of people. Um, <clears throat> and he's not, you know, an actor. He's just somebody that works on the studio. Like there's thousands and thousands and thousands that go to people that go to work at studios every single day. Um, and he was so taken aback by it. He was like, oh, my God, what do I do? Like. He's straight. This guy's obviously gay. He's like, well, if I did anything, like if I retaliated anyway, this dude was going to jump on me because of, you know, PC, whatever. So he was just so distraught by it. He doesn't talk to anybody about it any really, but. And, you know, there's nothing to be done in hindsight, but. With Terry coming out about his story um, and it's it's getting some traction from him. It really, really is. I have a feeling that there's going to be more, um, the other, other side of things. Like I think there's going to be, because there are some notorious ladies in town that have been doing terrible things to people for many years. And I think those stories are going to start to come out once things, um, they almost die down and then that will come out and it's going to get, it's going to get really, really wild. People will be like, what? That lady executive did what to who? She blackmailed this person? Are you serious? Do you hear this craziness? They're nuts. Stop it. Stop eating each other. They're crazy. They're absolutely crazy. How am I supposed to work like this? For real. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah, the... the the, when the ladies get exposed, it's going to be like, I didn't know that. When Harvey, when the story, when the news broke on Harvey and, you know, all these other guys, like, yeah, we all knew he was a slime ball. But I think when the lady executives start getting popped, it's going to be a different, um, it's going to be a different situation. And a lot of that stuff is, like, you know, emailed and texts and stuff like that. So there's receipts, yo. We got more receipts than Kim Kardashian. So that's going to be super, super fun. But then it's going to reignite the story of, oh, my Postmates almost here, supposedly, with the drink that I didn't order. Um, every time Postmates tries to talk to me, I lose my train of thought. Um... It's going to reignite the conversation. I'm like, oh, whatever. Like, you're so lucky some chick wanted pictures of you or she was going to force you to date or, you know, whatever. Like, stop complaining. And that circles back to the Terry Crews situation of, like, when guys say, hey, it's not, no, you can't touch me. No, I'm not going to sleep with you. No, 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 no. That also has merit as well. If somebody doesn't want anything from you, then they don't want anything from you. Yeah, I mean, <clears throat> I can see how you would be surprised that it didn't start right away. But, like, the thing is, is, like, those ladies that do that stuff are not, granted, they are bigger executives at studios. But, like, they're not, like, gigantic like, they just have a job. Like, they don't have a company. They don't have the Weinstein company. They don't have, you know, a major production company or a mini, a ma a mini major studio. Like, worst case scenario, like, they just get fired and they replace that person with the hundreds of people that want their job. Like, it's not as, um, oh, my Postmates is here. All right, guys, my Postmates here. I don't think you want to hear me cough at you anymore. So... I'm going to go. Thanks for watching. Hashtag no filter Friday on public house media next week. Hopefully I'll be better and I won't sound like a terrible, crazy person and you know, it'll be more fun. So have a lovely evening. I'm going to eat my food. See you later.